Hi everyone, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to make a video in a while. Things have been absolutely crazy around here. I came back from visiting my parents and then I helped my boyfriend move into his new house and then I've been uh, applying for scholarships for school, so I haven't really had time to do anything. But again, thank you for being so patient. So what I want to do today is a Jacqueline Hill inspired video. She just posted this, I think only a couple days ago, and it's this beautiful cobalt blue smoky eye. And I absolutely love it, especially for summer. I think it's a great going outlook. But some of the products that she used are a bit out of a college girl's budget. So what I'm going to do today is redo that look, but with products that most of them you can find at Walgreens, especially the eyeshadows. She used a lot of Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which don't get me wrong, they're fantastic, but they do cost a pretty penny. So the ones that I'm going to use today, most of them you can just find at a regular drugstore. So without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing that I want to do, especially for such a bold look, is I want to prime my eyelids. What I'm using is the Benefit Professional. This is just a little sample size. That's pretty much what I use it for. I usually use the Urban Decay primer, but I've been too busy to get it. So I'm just gonna lightly dab some of this all over my lids, and then if you have any extra, bring it up to your brows. So. That way our eyelids are going to be all primed for the eyeshadow that, the, excuse me, the eyeshadow that we are going to put on next. So I'm going to take the color Naked because that's closest to my skin color. If you have another eyeshadow that's closer to your skin color, like a nude color, I would recommend that as well. Just take a regular fluffy brush and what you're going to do is you're just going to first put that all over just your lid. Don't go up into your crease because the reason that we want this basic color on your lids is to be able to even everything out so that cobalt blue is really going to stick on there. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take just a regular crease brush. What we're going to do next is I'm going to take this color by L and it's, I think it's used to be called mink but it's in the uh the number is 09 and it's just like kind of a taupey purple color and you're just going to get a little bit of that on the end of your brush and excuse me i have a mirror over to the side so i'm going to do that first but what you want to do is you just want to lightly dust that right into the crease and that's when we are going to start that smoked out effect and the key to this is blend, blend, blend because we are going to be working with very bold colors so you want to make sure that whatever eyeshadow you're putting on you want to make sure that it's really well blended. And I'm just going to do that on the other eye really quick here. Alright, so there's the first step. It's kind of like a little bit of a purpley taupe color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the elf contour brush this is just a very very small shader brush it's very fluffy it's very dense but i like it for really packing the color especially into the crease this is also really good for a cut crease look so what i'm going to do is then i'm going to take the color hustle from the naked palette which is that guy right there it's kind of a little bit of a darker version of that same color that we just applied and i'm going to work that strictly just into the crease no blending out no nothing and that's why I like the smaller brush because you can really get right into the actual crease and the eyeshadow is not going to really fall anywhere else. And that's going to start a good layering effect for the smoky eye. I'm going to do that again really quick. And I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, but the reason that I'm posting this early this week is because, especially with bold eyeshadows, Sometimes people need a little more practice than others, so that's why I'm doing this on a Monday. So just in case you wanted to do something like this next weekend, you can see what I'm doing. You can practice it all week. It's just makeup. If you mess up, you can wipe it off. No big deal. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with the bold colors. So this 
is very similar to the Makeup Geek shadow that she applied yesterday. But this is actually from Wet n Wild and this is in the color 307A. It's called Suede. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take a flat shader brush. This is from the actual Urban Decay Naked palette. And you're going to really pack that color on there. And what you want to do is you want to just pack this on the lid only. No blending out. So I'm starting to pack that onto the lid. And what you can actually do is if you really, really want to stick this in for the night, you can actually wet your flat shader first. And that will really help keep that color where you want it to go. And so all you do is you keep packing, packing, packing right on that lid and don't go any further than your crease. So there's the first eye. It's a really, really bold blue, but if you have lighter colored eyes, this is really going to bring that out. So I'm just going to do the other side really quick here. All right. So there's the, oh hey, if you could focus there, camera, that'd be great, thank you. So there's the first really, really packed on bold blue color. What we're going to do after that is we are going to take that same crease brush from earlier and I'm taking the Urban Decay Singular Eyeshadow in ACDC. It's a very beautiful grayish purple color. As you can see, I've used it a lot because I think it is just beautiful. And you're going to take a little bit of that and tap it off. And you're going to use that to blend your lid and your crease together. Now, like I said before, the key to this video is going to be blend, 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 blend. And don't worry if there's a little extra that comes out here. We're going to clean that up a little bit with some concealer. So have no fear, my dear. You will be fine. I'm going to do that again on this side. Just kind of taking that right from the bottom of the crease. And not all the way up to where we applied that first color, but just enough to where it creates kind of that gradual effect. Now we're going to actually move on to the rest of our face. The reason that I like to apply this really bold shadow first is then because if you mess up at all, it's really easy to wipe it off, especially when you're redoing your makeup. So, so I'm going to take the foundation that I've been using for a while, the Too Faced Beauty Balm in Snow in a damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to apply my foundation here really quick. Remember always going downwards, not upwards, and you see how I'm kind of cleaning that up right there, and that's actually going to create kind of a winged effect too, which is really nice. The reason I like these looks is because it looks like you put a lot of time and effort into it, but you know, it's really not that bad. next then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a regular concealer brush this one's always or always wow also from equal tools and this is the NYX dark circle corrector in DCC01 fair and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swirl it in there and I'm going to draw almost like a triangle down from the corner of my eye to the tip of my nose and then just fill in everything around there. And this concealer is really good for girls that have dark circles. As you can see, it's doing a really good job of covering up when I need it to cover up. I'm going to do that on this side. I'm not going to blend in my concealer at first because I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it the way that I am. So next I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and this is in the color 3 so it's a very light color. This one's waterproof also. So 
All right. So basically what I did along here is this is going to be kind of the area like I talked about before in one of my other videos. It's like the heart shape. That's where you really want to highlight and draw attention to your face, especially if you're going to be taking pictures all night. Then take the other end of your damp beauty blender and just blend everything in. A little extra right there. Okay. All right. So after that, what we're actually going to do now is the bottom of our eyes because we can't forget that. So the next color that I'm going to take is the Milani eyeshadow. It's in 09 Bella Navy, and I'm going to take a smaller flat shader brush this is from the urban decay naked 2 palette but you can pretty much get these brushes anywhere they're really popular this is a beautiful dark navy color and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a little on the end and i'm going to work it right underneath my eye so then after that what you want to do is you just want to take a small little pencil brush like this this is again from eco tools and you just want to make sure that you really blend everything in. Alright, so what I'm going to do next so I can finish my highlighting is I'm actually going to fill in my brows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ooh, just take another small shader brush and I'm going to actually go in with the color Buck because that's the color that works best with my eyebrows. I'm just going to fill those guys in really quick here. And then I'm going to finish these guys up with the Maybelline Brow Drama in brown. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same concealer brush from before, dip it in a little bit, and kind of just clean up right under my brows. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a regular fluffy brush. Um, I've had this for so long and I actually don't remember where it's from. But I'm going to take the color Virgin from the Naked Palette. I'm just going to go right underneath the brow bone. I don't know what this baby hair is doing here. And then I'm going to work this into the corner of my eye to draw some more attention to that area just like that so then what I'm going to do so I can add a little bit more dimension to this look is I'm going to take the Milani baked eyeshadow in 21 Bella Teal and I'm going to take that same flat shader brush from before and I'm going to work this just into the center of my eye. Alright, so that's going to give our eyes a little bit more dimension than before. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this NYC Let's see, waterproof eyeliner pencil in 936 sky high, and I'm going to work it into my bottom waterline. So that just gives like a little extra pop of blue there. So what I'm going to do next is go in with my e.l.f. professional eyeliner, and I'm going to do kind of a winged eye. But like I said in one of my previous videos, whatever kind of eye, uh, eyeliner look that you want to do, um, that's totally fine. But I think for, especially for a night out smoky eye, I think that the winged eyeliner is the best way to go. All right, so there's one eye down. I'm just gonna do the other one here real quick. Alright, and there's both eyes done. So it kind of helps add a little more dimension to this look. 
What I'm gonna do next is take the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara, and this is in black as black. And I'm just going to put a couple of thick coats on here. All right, there's one. So while this coat of lashes dries, I'm gonna actually start doing my highlighting and my brush, or in my blush. I'm having so much trouble talking today. I don't know what's going on with me. So I'm going to take the Becca highlighter, uh, and this is in Opal. I talked about this before. It is a beautiful highlighter. I love it. So I'm just gonna take a regular Elf fluffy brush. I'm gonna highlight all the areas that I normally do. Going right around here and like I said before in my previous video you really don't need much of this highlighter it's going to do a fantastic job all by itself and then next I'm going to take the NARS blush in orgasm and I'm gonna just dust that right on the apples of my cheeks and kind of go up on a little bit of a diagonal angle to my cheekbones Nothing, nothing much. Just I want this to focus more on my eyes. So I'm going to leave the face a little more muted. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to take the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in light medium bronzer. And I'm going to just do some contouring. I'm going to blend that all out really quick. And then apply a finishing powder. Those are the areas that I really want to make sure stick. And so you don't get that super greasy feeling when you're going out all night. So then I'm going to apply the second coat of mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I've talked about this before. And there we go, all done. So as you can see, this is a very blue, smoky, cobalt look. I think this is gonna be great for going out on the town. It's really bold, it's really beautiful, and it's gonna complement a lot of different eye colors. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.